First of all, congratulations on receiving your mission call. That's really exciting. And I'm especially excited that um, you were called to serve in Ukraine. It's the best place. And the Ukraine Youth Rapid Throws Commission is the best mission in the entire world. Um, I know that everyone says that, and for everyone it's true. And for you, the Ukraine Youth Rapid Throws Commission is going to be the best place that you could be. Um, something that you can start doing right now in order to prepare to go to Ukraine is to learn learn as much as you can before you enter the MTC about the history of the Ukrainian people. Learn about their culture, learn about their traditions, learn about the things that they've been through, um, because that will help you to be able to empathize with them and to be able to, to understand where they're coming through when they talk with you. That's something you can just do, just spend a little bit of time on Google and kind of look up a, a couple of things and learn as much as you can. Also, if you haven't done so already, make the decision right now to love the people of Ukraine. Um, start praying right now for your future investigators. Start praying right now for the members in the areas that you'll serve in. And make, make the conscious decision to love the people. That way, by the time that you get to Ukraine, it, it won't be an issue of you're going through culture shock. You, you won't have any of the thoughts of, oh, this is so different. I, I'm not sure if I like this. Because you'll know, that, you'll know that this is where God wants you to be and that these are his precious children and he loves them so much. I remember one of my first weekends in Ukraine, we were having a branch party. Um, and... I remember I was, I was standing in the kitchen of our branch and I was spreading liver on these little slices of bread. And I remember thinking, oh, this is not what I was expecting my mission to be like. I didn't think I would be standing in one place for an hour, just, you know, getting ready for a branch activity. This isn't missionary work. I should be out contacting or teaching a lesson or something. But then I looked around me and I saw that there were all these women from the branch who were, who were preparing as, as hard as they could to make this activity a good activity and they were really stressed out and all of a sudden it occurred to me that I was serving the members of the branch and I was filled with this sense of love for them and I began to realize that that God saw them he they were his daughters and he loved them and he wanted them to be happy he wanted them to know that he cared about them and was aware of them and even though I was just standing there in a little corner spreading liver on some bread I realized that I was helping him to show his love for them by showing my love for them. So if, if you make the decision right now that you are going to love the people with your whole heart and that no matter what comes, you are going to find all that is good and all that is lovely and all the things that are in the 13th article of faith, you're going to find those things in Ukraine and with the people there, then you will be an even more powerful instrument in God's hands because the Lord works through love. And if you love the people, then he will lead you to the people that he is prepared to accept the gospel.